Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge Goodwill Benz haul, about 40 pounds. So if you would like to see what I got for 40 bucks, then keep watching. Okay, so it was a funny story. Now here at our bins here in Columbia, this is something that happens a lot and I've been there multiple times when this has happened. Somebody fills up multiple carts full of clothing and shoes and pocketbooks to get the register and either their car gets declined or they didn't have enough money and so some stuff does go back and that's what happened today. Um, this lady, she is a consigner, I, I guess that's the word, consigner. She basically will go and find stuff to, to like Plato's Closet um some regular consignment stores that we have here in this area as well as um what is the other place not style encore anyway there's another place it's like style encore but anyway so that's what she does like that's her thing and she apparently had not enough money for everything i don't think she realized how much it was going to be and so he was putting back two of her carts and he was dumping them into the bin in front of me and I was like hmm I'm just gonna go look and see what is you know what's over there and I'm so glad I did because oh, there's so much good stuff here so I will get right into it so you can see so I spent $41 no it was 40 pounds I spent $51 or maybe it was $55 anyway I spent like $55 and um, completely worth it completely worth it so the first item is this Billy Reed I don't know if you're familiar with Billy Reed but it is a well-known designer maybe not too well known um, their stuff is very very expensive this is a skirt and it's kind of lifted on the sides uh, because there's a button on the inside so it's it's very different this is a size 4 made in the USA I'm pretty excited to get this up I might put it on eBay I don't know yet but this is a newer Billy Reed. Um, this right here is an Adidas Men's 3XL. It is this nice jacket. I have no doubt in my mind that this will sell pretty quickly and for a decent book. Um, this was something that was in the bin. So everything I'm showing you right now is stuff that came from the things that he was dumping out. So, and I'll tell you whenever we hit the stuff that I picked up which was not much. <laughs> um, this is LTX Sportswear. I had never heard of this brand before, but the style was really cute. So that may be why she grabbed it, I guess. Um, this is a Lucky Brand peasant top. It's just a blue floral top. Got some thread around the. Ooh. This is something called Inspira. Inspira. It's just this pretty top. Um, it's got like the bow on it. I don't know if this is silk or not. I don't think it is. It's cotton. Um, these are Kinsey. So these are Kinsey. They are skinny jeans. Skinny jeans always do well. I feel like skinny jeans do better than most any jeans because everybody loves skinny jeans still. <clears throat> this is a pair of Banana Republic Factory Petite shorts. Denim shorts. Um, these are Citizens of Humanity. They are the Rocket Crop High Rise Skinny Jeans, and they're black too, which is like, they will sell pretty quick. Um, I'm pretty excited about these. The one thing, the skinny jeans, high rise skinny jean, anything usually goes pretty quick, but black jeans are like, according to Google Trends, that's what people are looking for. Um, but they're also, they're looking for distressed black skinny jeans, so we'll see. I found this to be odd. I, I don't know if it's vintage. I think it is. This is a 6XL. So this is really big. 
It is a J.C. Freeman and Sons Manufacturing Authentic Circa 1900 to 1950. It is a Brooklyn Lions coat. Now, I think it is vintage. I'm not 100% sure, but I grabbed it because I was like, you know what? If she put it in there, then there was good reason for it because she, she's in there like multiple times a week. You know, that's like, that's her job, you know? So... I was like, well, I'm going to try and see. Look it up on eBay. Maybe I'll put it on eBay. I don't know, but that's a really big size, 6XL. So we shall see. And I almost feel kind of bad for taking the stuff, but, you know, I mean, she took what she wanted, and then he put the rest of the stuff back. So if I didn't get it, somebody else was going to get it, you know, but I still kind of feel bad. So I'm like, well, what if she comes back tomorrow and she's looking for the stuff? <laughs> But, all right, so these are Polo, Ralph Lauren. They're just some men's, um, like, sweatpants, or maybe they're women's even. I don't know. Extra large. I might even keep them for myself just to sleep in. <clears throat> there is, oh, I did get one of the pocketbooks. It's a Steve Madden. Um, just a Steve Madden black. I believe it is leather maybe nope polyurethane but it's okay um but yeah it's a crossbody purse it's got the strap um this is a vintage victoria's secret it's just like a silk top i believe it's silk it might be um polyester polyester silk all right so this is a sports bra i don't remember i think this is a gap I think it's Gap. I don't. I don't remember. Um. So this one is a uh, Tory Birch. Tory Birch, and it is this cute maxi skirt. Really cute. I saw it. I was like, oh yeah. I've only found Tory Birch at the bins once. You know, I'm in, I'm in Columbia. We don't have a lot of these big stores around there, so it's very slim to find stuff like that. All right, so this is a Nike top. These are a pair of, I'm going pretty quick because I have somebody wanting me to go down and get measurements for them, so. These are a pair of Victoria's Secret extra small pajama pants. Um... This is just a hoodie that says Boston. So I figured some people like to DIY these things, so I'll go ahead and get it. Um, this is a Torrid, which is, um, I think this is an older Torrid, but it's just this cute little chiffon top. Oh, this is mine. It's a tablecloth. <laughs> this is mine too, but I might try to sell it. But it's just in focus women's. It's just a, a cute little dress, which I think I'm going to keep for myself. This is um, main strip. I don't know what the comps are on this. It's just this dress. It was really shimmery, and I thought it was so cute. Just a bodycon dress, a little black dress. This is a M. Milano. I don't know much about it, but I'm going to try it out. We'll see. See what the comps are. If I'm editing this video, I should be putting them in the corner over here somewhere. So... <clears throat> This right here is a Calvin Klein, and it is a maxi skirt. I've never found a Calvin Klein maxi skirt, so I thought that was cute. These are True Religion, size 27 jeans. Um, they are extremely distressed, and I'm not sure if it's on purpose or not, but we'll see. This bag is Elka. I don't know anything about it, but 
it came out of the bin, so I was like, I'll look it up and see. Alright, um, this is a Lily Pulitzer. It is a skirt, I believe. It's a very short, short skirt. It says, it's got like all the states. This is like Idaho, Ohio, New York, Louisiana, Mississippi. So I don't know how it'll do, but it's cute as can be. Um, yeah. This is another Lily Pulitzer top. It is a brown, um, I want to say this is silk. Yes, it's a brown silk top. Um, this is Adrian Vitadini. Vit 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 yeah, that. <laughs> Vitadini, something like that. But it's just like, um, it's kind of like an overcoat type thing. A uh, sleeveless, I don't know what you want to call it, like a over, a pull, not a pullover, but like a cardigan type thing. This is an older cabbie. It's cotton spandex. Um, but it was really cute. This is a jacket and it's velvet. And it's got these beautiful embroideries on it. Oh, and I should add that we are down to the stuff that I picked out now. We've already passed all her stuff, so. There's probably a lot more, but I only had a certain amount I could spend today, so. Um, but anyway, so this one on the back has got the embroidery. It's long. So pretty. Can't wait to get that listed. These are Minnetonka. They're just some, um, like, what are these called? Moccasins cute. I don't know what size they are though. Seven and a half. They are leather. Suede. This is a Gretchen Scott. It had pretty good comps. But it's just a, a button down. I thought there was a snake in this bag. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway. This is an Adidas t-shirt. It is a small. This is just a North Face jacket. It definitely needs to be washed, but it's just a white um, jacket. Needs some TLC. This one's a cute one. I, I like this one. This is Nanette Lepore. I like to pick up her stuff. Um, it's really pretty, colorful. I'm sitting closer to my camera than I usually am, so I'm not able to really look to make sure I can see everything or that you can see everything. Um, what is this? And why is this in my bag? So this was not supposed to go in my bag. <laughs> anyway, it's a Carter's t-shirt for a little baby. Um, that was an accident. This is a Walt Disney World top. I believe it is vintage. Um, it's... So it's got the seven dwarfs on the side of it. It's just a basic little t-shirt. And it's got like the single stitch. So, I mean, maybe. This is a philosophy dress. It's pretty. It's just like a bodycon dress. And then I picked up this Columbia. It's a skirt. I thought I'd just get it for myself, but it doesn't need to be washed. It has some spots. All right, now we're on to what I originally went to the bins for, which was the bags and the shoes. So this is called Gun Totin' Mamas. I had never heard of it. There are some comps that are pretty good on Poshmark and eBay, um, but it's this, it's leather. I don't know if it's for your gun, I'm assuming so, but it's, you know, a nice little bag. 
it was in excellent condition. I'll show you the up close if you can see it. Gun toting mamas. But yeah, it's in really good shape, so I'm gonna get that up. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just a purse or if it's for your gun or if it's for you know your gun and everything else. This I thought was a snake. Hmm. It is a Zara woman. It's a purse. It's a suede purse. Um, so it's this bag. And then it's got like the fringe, tassel, whatever you want to call it. But the this has kind of come off over here, so I've got to be able to rewrap it. But that was the only thing wrong with it. So, and then there was this, which is Tutilo, New York. It's just like, um, I want to say it's a laptop case or just a tote, a black leather tote, Tutilo. And as always, I found a vintage coach bag this is just like a little um i guess like a crossbody bag and that's what the inside looks like it is cowhide on the inside and it does not have the little tag that hangs down which apparently a lot of people want but they do sell now I found this now this is Louis Vuitton I don't know if it's real or if it's fake it's probably fake and I'm thinking that it was probably honestly I don't know what it was I really don't but yeah I don't know if you can see I will probably like see if somebody knows exactly what it is it may have been like a pin maybe um but i saw and i was like well i'll just grab it i mean we're at the bins so no big deal and then i got this which is from ikea which i got it for myself um it does need to be washed because it has a stain right there but it's this cute little shelving type pockets i don't know what i'm gonna put in it but it was really adorable. It's got like the hook right here. So yeah. We don't have an Ikea here in Columbia. In fact, I've never stepped foot in an Ikea in my entire life because I live in Columbia and we don't have those things. Like we just got a Costco and I've never been there either. But I'm pretty sure Ikea is much different than a Costco. So, all right. And we are down to the last two items, which are shoes. Um, I just sold a pair of shoes from this brand. Um, they were cute little, um, like ankle booties. These are flats. They are mussy and cloud, which are sold at Anthropology. Um, these ones obviously need to have some stuff put on them to stretch them out a little bit because they are a little crooked. But it's just these cute leather flats. Um, but yeah, let me show you the... The label if you can see it I'm missing cloud these are size eights really cute I love these and then there's these I want to say I've sold this brand before I think it's NAOT it's made in Israel um, these are just some what mules or clogs whatever you want to call them but yeah and that is it that is the entire haul so I spent $55 on everything it was 40 I think he said it was like 40 or 41 pounds okay so calculating it it was like a dollar 34 per piece so um, that's why the bins are so great and for those who don't have bins it sucks and some people you do have bins in your neighborhood and you didn't even know it so you need to look for it it's called the you just have to go to all the goodwills in your area and some of them will have the clearance center right next to it. It'll just be called like the outlet or something like that. You just never know. Just go and try them out because a lot of people don't realize they have a retail center. Um, you can also go to the Goodwill website and they will actually show you the location of all of those areas. So, or all of those locations. 
anyway so that is my haul i think i got really lucky with the stuff that she had put back there was a lot of stuff but like i said i didn't have much to spend today i really shouldn't have spent what i spent today but whenever i saw the stuff i was like oh my gosh i gotta get that i gotta get that i gotta get that so um yeah one of my bills may end up being pushed to the back burner at the end of this week but i'm gonna try really fast to get these things listed so i can try to make that money back as soon as possible um but anyway okay that is it for this haul i hope you enjoyed it uh, be sure to follow me on instagram uh, for updates sometimes i have sales on there i'm also going to be having a giveaway here at the end of may um, i want to say probably may 30th is whenever i'm going to start the giveaway um, but yeah, so keep your eye open on my Instagram page for that. Allie Bethany is my Instagram name. You can also follow me on Twitter at Allie Bethany. Um, and if you are not subscribed, please, please subscribe, um, below and put that notification bell on so you see my new videos when they come out. I think that's everything. So I'm going to go make more videos. So I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.